23 minutes and cramp. Says a lot about guys, what they're eating. Uh, obviously, uh, scores lopsided, but I was happy with the game. This team won at Arkansas Little Rock, their last game. And uh, got a guy coming in fourth in the nation and scoring. So, uh, you know, it's, everything's a process. There's a, anytime you step on the floor, you're trying to have kids get, show that they're improving in the areas that they need to improve. Um, we did a lot of that tonight. We still got a lot of areas that we need to improve on. Uh, but in a game like this, uh, you're trying to get cert your younger guys as many minutes as you can. A uh, guy like Mamadou trying to get his confidence going, get Trevor Moore to get his ma get a made three, get his confidence going. Uh, and, and just certain things defensively in our communication that we're, that, uh, we're trying to practice and get better at. And obviously, you, you know, pressing is a, pressing almost got us back into the game in our one loss. And uh, we tried to work on that tonight in the first half. We worked on it hard yesterday in practice. Uh, it's in just an area where I think we can continue to improve it as a team in our anticipation uh, off the ball and in, in our hands in the passing lane. So uh, a lot of you know a lot of good things happen tonight out there for us. Obviously, uh, the game you know, score the score got a little out of hand, but uh, we made a lot of shots. So we started. I think we started off four for four from three, if I'm not mistaken. For a team to play zone, that's they're 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 a zone team, so that put them in a really bad spot. Makes coaching a lot easier when the ball goes in like that. We were told it was a record. Uh, Sixty-seven deflections. Yeah, hey, and I don't know. I'm too old to really remember yeah. deflection records. You know, I I do remember we created 31 turnovers, and we played NC State my first year, and we won because we just, they didn't have a point guard, but they had five high major players, and uh, we had a bunch of guys I signed in May <laughs> to have a basketball team that year. And I, we think we got NC State for 31 or two. That's the most in a long time. Uh, yeah, exactly. He was on that team. Or, I don't know if he had switched over by then to baseball, but they were, that was that team. Uh, they were really, they were a good team. They had made the tournament. Somehow we we like, we just trapped every pass. It's the only chance we had was somehow, and we won that game. But uh, I hadn't seen 30, 30, that many turnovers in a long time. But I was well, our mental approach to the game was was really good tonight. We, we uh, stayed focused on playing well and didn't get caught up in the scoreboard. We never got selfish at any point in the game. Yeah, it's a good point, and, and it's a good. It's for other guys to try it. You know, whenever you get a chance to get guys minutes and develop guys, because that's a big part of who we are. That's why we've had continued success, because we've been able to rebuild from within our program. It's hard to rebuild. You got to rebuild with first-year players. It's tough. But you, I think you know, you people are starting to see the real Rashawn Fredericks. Starting to see he's he, he's a tough kid. He's confident, and he's going to help us a lot. Getting his confidence going. Uh, he, I like, and when I say that, I'm more in his defense because he's starting to figure out how we do things defensively. He's he's talking and communicating really well. A game like this help you prepare for UNLV? I haven't seen him yet, so you know, I I go one game at a time. Just I've, I've always done that. Now I've watched uh, I watch you know, in the summer. I watch film, so I was. But I, that was la their team last year. Um, you know, I think I think it can, it can only it can hurt you if you uh, if you get worse. See, to me, you're either all. I don't know who said this one, so it's not my line. But you, every time you play, you're either getting better or you're getting worse. You know, if you because everything's about habits. You know, and. Uh, not that he's a personal friend of mine, but I'm a fan. He's just why Nick Saban is the way he is. 
with the media too. It's the way you know he, you know everybody thinks it's autopilot. You're just going to win, and he realized how hard it is to keep kids focused. And you're either going to get better, or you're going to get worse. You're going to get worse if you're not focused. And yeah, I thought we got better tonight. Our our focus was great considering, you know, the situation with the opponent and and it stay. I was happy that it's. Last year we played them it was similar, and we were awful in the second half. If you go ahead, you can look. And we only end up with 70-something points. We were, you know, we were. You know, you've been that in yeah, you know, I've always said this, you know, I'm not a comic, but, you, you know, th perimeter shooting comes and goes like your high school girlfriend. I don't know if yours ever calls you back. I, <laughs> she stuck around that long. Wow, that's it's amazing. <laughs> you like to... Oh, yeah. It's just no point. Well, he's he's been dealing with a calf strain, so he wanted to play. Um, but then at halftime, I there's just no point. Um, he's got a, just a sore spot on his calf, so I guess when you got garbage can calves. <coughs> It's easier to strain them. Tonight, any indication on Prince and Laquille? Yeah, they're both probably they're they're both going to redshirt. I'm 100 percent on Laquille. Prince, uh, he doesn't really understand, you know, because um, he you know where he's from and all that. Even though he's one of the smartest guys on campus, and he got admitted to Princeton, I have to explain to him what redshirting means. Uh, so I gave him the story about uh, Justin Jackson. And SK, we won 27 games, and from January on, Justin was having a great year. Every t every time we'd be on a bus on the, on the road, he'd always put his arm around me and say, "Man, I wish I'd have redshirted," because how great he would have been if he'd have had one more year. He might have got drafted. You know, he was all league and defensive player of the year in the league, and how how good he would have been or if he'd have had one more year. So. Uh, both those kids are just tremendous kids, and they, they got a chance to be good players because they're both uh, – Prince is a really talented scorer. Laquille can do everything. He's got great attitude and great toughness. So there's just no point in wasting a year on them. Besides, uh, what kind of improvements happened tonight? You guys think still make – A lot of areas. I'll tell you, uh, out of bounds underneath defense is, you know, special situations that win games. Um, Teams are getting. We try to steal the ball every time a team has to take it out under their own basket. That's why we have a bit, our biggest guy on the ball. So uh, last year we were second in the nation uh, in fewest points allowed, but we were first in steals. So that's an area uh, that we're, we're not we're, we're not giving up baskets, but there's too much confusion and not enough, uh, very few steals this year. It's like there, there's just one specific area for you. Individually, we can all get better. Uh, you know, Keith is getting high deflections, but uh, he, he, uh, there's his at times off the ball where he can improve. So there's, there's a lot of things. But I thought our, our zone offense to start the game, our passing was great. You can always get better with a half court execution, though. Still concerned with the offensive rebounds. You got 13 tonight. Well, they missed a lot of shots. So the, when, you talk, when you talk about rebounding, it's all about percentage. So we missed 23 shots, and we only got eight. We're usually in the 40 percentile. So uh, if you agree, we try to make sure we're getting at least 40 percent of our misses or more. And obviously, you want to hold teams to way less than that. So I mean, yeah, there's always areas. When you're denying, though, as much as we were, uh, the more you spread out and deny, it's hard to be a great defensive rebounding team because your, your defense is more. Teams that tend to pack it in are going to be better in that area. Three turn, turn things around for you. Yeah, I tell you, you, you know, I would, I, he's going to make shots. I'm more worried about his defense and taking care of the ball. He had three turnovers against George Mason. So the reason he didn't play in the Ole Miss game was just very, was, you know, I got options. You can play because Logan's such a great defender and he's and a very good rebounder for a guy to play his point. You can play him at the two and gives you an extra ball handler and a guy that rebounds above the rim. Uh, so, you know, Trev's in a, in a fight for playing time, and you can't turn the ball over because turnovers would kill you. In that old Miss game, I, 
I, I knew that if we had fewer than 10 turnovers, we were probably going to win. They just That's how they played. The, you're, they're either going to foul you or they're going to steal the ball. So if you don't turn it over, I knew we were going to make a bunch of free throws. So we'll see. I mean, Trev's just got to keep battling, trying to get better. Now, I'm not worried about him making open shots. I'm more worried about him not turning the ball over, especially in big games on the road against you know teams that really get after you. That's been his weakness. Yeah, we actually usually we play a certain amount of bye games, but uh, you know I just think uh, it was a chance to uh, for us to play a road game against. Uh, against a friend of mine, Marvin Menzies, and I are from the same uh, c coaching tree with Rick Pitino. Uh, he's a great guy. Uh, Desiree actually called me. Uh, she's their athletic director, and they were looking. And the really truth of it is it's so hard for us to get home games because we're at Ohio State and Xavier next year. We needed a home game next year. So that's why I said, well, I'll come out this year so you guys can come back. Um, trying to make sure we always have some name opponents coming in in December. Um, uh, so, and we're obviously working on trying to get another one. So uh, that's really how it happened. But uh, Desiree used to work here, their athletic director. So we have a relationship. Um, but, you know, every, every road game is tough. So I made the guys, when I walked in the locker room, I saw in the coach's locker room, Penn State just beat a Virginia Tech. Ranked team lost to an unranked team, so you just got you got to show them. It's hard to win on the road, and this group, this is our first road game, so we got to handle the road trip professionally, in a business manner, and understand that everybody's tough at home. People don't go away at home, you know. It's, you you got to play the, to the even if you get up early, teams don't go away at home. So uh, you got to play some road games to get ready for your conference. Well, I go to sleep anyway, so it's just uh, – no, nah, we don't – you know, I've heard about stuff like that in football, like they stay on the same clock. That's all too confusing for me. Uh, you know, Mike – and I have the best trainer-strength coach combination in the country, so I just kind of do what they tell me. I ask them how, to, how we should handle stuff. And Mike Rayfelt and Bob Mangine uh, are a lot smarter than me when it comes to that. So, however, they – what we're doing is going Thursday. So we'll practice Thursday and then fly out. And we'll practice at UNLV on on Friday, so that gives us gives you a chance to adjust yeah. a little bit. Because we charter back right after the game. So how rare is it for a freshman to be as ready defensively as Logan is to make the kind of impact that he is? Oh, it's rare. Jacob did it. Gary did it. Logan obviously in a different position. Logan's a superior athlete, just like his brother. That's why his brother defended his way to the NBA, and Logan knows that. Great advantage when you got to – I don't have to sell Logan Johnson on the importance of defense. He's got a brother that signed a $50 million contract because of defense that didn't play as a young player, didn't get recruited I went to a Fresno State, and didn't even play as a freshman, couldn't get in the game, and then didn't get drafted had, and made his way through the, through the D League playing hard and playing defense. So he, he gets – I mean, he's seen, he's seen his family's whole world change because of Tyler's defense. So it's, it's, I don't even have to sell him on it. He already knows. But he's got unbelievable quickness and athleticism. He's, he's going to be a great player, as you know, in time, the more comfortable he gets on the offensive end. Thanks, guys. Thank you.